Hello, hello. So today we're going to cover CloudWatch event rules and I'll explain how those all work with Jets. So to do that, we're going to go under Docs and under Events, CloudWatch Rule. That's what we're looking for. So what are CloudWatch event rules? Um, it's been described as the central nervous system of AWS. So what happens is you could do a lot of things in your AWS account. You could start up an instance, you could open up a security group, and all these things kind of register as events to CloudWatch event rules. You actually connect this up uh, as a Lambda trigger. So I'll show you how to do that. The syntax is actually pretty uh, simple. Um, there's rule event, and then you describe kind of the event that you're looking for. In this case, this is kind of monitoring CloudTrail to see whether or not there are any security group changes. I'm gonna actually show you the list of all the event types because there's a lot. Look at this. This is, I guess, why they call it uh, the central nervous system of AWS. You could basically list to any event pretty much, and then you could fire off Lambda functions off of that. So, okay, so we're going back to the syntax. This is a rule event, and then you can define rules off that, and then you can have your Lambda logic right here. Now, uh, th in this example, it's using CloudTrail. CloudTrail pulls and sends data about every 15 minutes. So instead of using this example, for the sake of speed, we're gonna actually scroll down. We're gonna use another example. We're gonna use this example right here that detects when an instance stops, okay? Uh, and we actually have the example code here. And this is the full code right there, but I'm gonna actually rebuild this project from scratch because it's pretty quick. So let's go ahead and jump into the terminal and start doing that now. Jets new demo mode job. So what Jets new does is it generates a starter skeleton project I'm using job mode, which makes it a very light project. So all we really need is that. We just need to basically create a job. So I'm creating a job now, security job.rb. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the code from uh, the project right here and throw in there. Okay, so that looks, I think, good. We should be able to see it in Jets deploy. So while that's deploying, I'm gonna explain this a little bit. So here's the rule event. Uh, here's a description of what the rules can kind of look like, how it shows from the AWS console. The source is saying uh, from the EC2 service, and then a uh, detail type here. Here's the kind of type that's, uh, and then here's stopping. So we're only, we, I guess we could also do it if we wanted to, pending, starting, basically all the states of uh, of EC2 instance of, of launching an EC2 instance and stopping an EC2 instance and maybe terminating an EC2 instance. But we're just registering, we're just registering stopping for now. And then all we do is we're going to put out event and then we're in JSON dump it just to make it pretty form. So we're going to be able to see this event in the AWS CloudWatch logs uh, very shortly once this is done deploying. So this deploy is still going to take a little time, probably a minute or so. So I'm going to pause the video so you guys don't have to wait through this. So the deploy has finished. So we can go ahead and check on the resources that were created and then we can stop an instance to test this out. Okay. So let's first, I guess, look at lambda let's look at lambda and you can see here's the code right here so there's the code and you can see that uh the code is right here you just open up security job okay so there's the code and let's also check where the rule is so let's go to CloudWatch and go to rules and you can see here's the rule that was created if you actually click on the rule you can see that it registered the lambda function right here Okay, and you can actually see the event pattern right here. That's the thing that matches our code that we deployed. So at this point, now we can go ahead and stop instance and this rule should be triggered. And then uh, we should be able to check CloudWatch logs out and see the, the trigger event. So to do that, uh, I already have an instance that I spun up uh, before this. So let me just go and stop that test instance. Here's a test instance. We'll go in here and we'll go instance state. We'll stop it. Yes, stop, I'm sure. Okay, so that instance has started going in stopping mode. So that means we should be able to see the log now, uh, see that event uh, in the logs. So let's go to logs. Under logs right here, here is the log, and we can search log group, and you can see that uh, request has started. So it's, it started logging already, but the request has fired. And now you can actually see the event payload. So here's the event payload right here. It's showing the instance, and it's showing state stopping. But it's essentially, a, you can run any Lambda logic. The only logic we had here was just, we're gonna put it out to the log, so that's how we can see it and test it. But that's that's essentially pretty much it. Um, CloudWatch event rules are pretty uh, simple to use. It's just literally uh, a couple lines of code right here, depending on what patterns you wanna cover. Uh, and it's pretty powerful because of all the rules you could actually uh, listen to. There's a lot of rules in here.
So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you um, want to watch future videos like this, uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel. If you find this Jets project interesting, uh, do me a favor and go to GitHub and give it a star. I really, really would appreciate it. Thanks a lot. You guys have a great rest of the day. Cheers.